Hi. Well, one thing that people seem to love to talk about and discuss and everything is diets, you know, weight loss diets, health diets, stuff like that. And um, I'm in France, and I'm American-born, and uh, I did gain quite a bit of weight when I moved here because I continued to eat like an American. <laughs> I had uh, done a terrific weight loss uh, program in the United States in the early 90s following the Juicing for Life uh, book that I've done a clip of recently. And I'm dealing with some health issues now, uh, gout and some problems breathing, and I'm disabled. I have pain issues. I'm not very ambulatory. A um, bunch of physical stuff going on with me. So I'm dealing with that, and it's it's going along okay, I guess. Uh, but uh, weight loss will be next. I just want to be uh, have a lot of this weight off of me. Um, I'd like to be a little bit more flexible. Um, I would like to be a bit more ambulatory. You know, there's only going to be so much I can do because I have some pretty major disability points that there's no way of correcting. And I won't bother going into detail about that, but it's structural in nature, and no, I can't get surgery, and I don't want to have surgery anymore. It's always gone wrong. Okay, so uh, they do like to talk about this sort of thing in France. Many, many countries do. And uh, there's, you know, the French mystery. You know, why are so many French people uh, really not obese? Not the way they are in the United States, for example. Um, now, it does exist here, and it is it is a bit on the increase. It tends to be more among um, poorer people, I've noticed, and I'm not the only one who's noticed. So we're not exempt over here. And you can say, well, you know, the French are genetically different. Um, actually, a lot of Americans do have French blood in them, so they have French genetics. Um, but a lot of things are done differently over here. I have put up quite a few clips on my two YouTube channels and some on Daily Motion also about um, etiquette over here, about manners, about food preferences and eating habits and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot to be said for drinking distilled water quite often um, and uh, fasting for 12 hours of each day might be from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. or the other way around or maybe 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, that seems to to help a lot and uh, they like to have dinner at 7 in France, so that's why I'm thinking, you know, maybe 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. When I was doing the weight loss thing in New York, um, I didn't eat solid food all day. Um, I, I stuck to a, a liquid diet, a, a vegetable juice, it was mostly, and then I would just eat a, a, a light, balanced meal um, early in the evening and then stop until the next morning, and that's probably why I lost nearly 50 pounds in less than 60 days, and it took so long for me to gain any of that weight back. You know, I was here in France for quite a few years before I really started to gain the weight back, and really I was just too delighted with the things that they have to eat over here, and I was, I was just eating too much of stuff whenever I felt like it. It was no good. Um, they do find that uh, eating at fixed hours is a good idea. You know, having a, a meal time. Um, and that uh, just like three meals a day and no snacks is possibly a great way to mess up your metabolism. Um, small portions, no second helpings, um, <clears throat> no beverages with meals, uh, a lot of stuff like that. Um, you'll find uh, the French uh, do eat pretty light during the week. 
um, they 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 tend to have a blowout <laughs> for Sunday lunch, you know. And there's frequently quite a bit of alcohol then too, so you have to watch out. If you get invited to a Sunday lunch in France, please go. Bring fresh flowers. Never bring wine. I have some videos up about this. Um, and uh, be prepared to spend like two, three, even four hours there. And, uh, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, but they eat in courses, and uh, <laughs> you know it's like can be almost like food and alcohol torture. But but if you do it if you do it correctly and you relax, um, you'll probably have a really good time. And if you're not completely comatose afterwards, you know people go out for a walk in the park or something like that, <laughs> or else or else they go to bed. And then by Sunday night, you know Sunday dinner here is frequently one or one or two soft cooked eggs and. That's it, you know. A uh, typical weeknight dinner in France is a little bowl of vegetable soup. I'm not kidding. If you're in a French hospital, every night, vegetable soup. Nothing else, really. A little, maybe a little piece of bread, uh, maybe a little yogurt. That's about it. You know, so <laughs> you better eat your lunch here. Otherwise, you're you're out of luck. Uh, um... And uh, this is an this is an article in French, and it deals with uh, what's going on if you want to snack. I have noticed that in the past, uh, I'm not a sweets person. I I I tend to go for salty things, which isn't good either. But when I notice that I want like a sweet snack for sort of no reason. It's frequently, in my case, um, a need for some protein. So you know, we're 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 all a little bit different. I would say um, keep track of what works for you, and keep reading and and studying and learning. And you know, one size does not fit all. There are some basic good habits you can practice, but you know, uh, one size does not fit all. Um, also, the French have found recently that uh, losing a lot of weight in a very, very, very short period of time is the way to go. Generally speaking, um, never eat any diet foods or light foods if you want to lose weight or keep weight off. Um, and, oh, I, I hope I hope this works out for me and that that I feel much better soon and that I can begin a diet. I'll probably do that juice diet I was on before. We'll see. Okay, bye.